Hey guys, so I figured following on from my Disney haul on Tuesday, I would get you up to speed with a Harry Potter haul. So this is from when I went to London last summer, it's from the studio tour. I did vlog it, I can't remember if I ever put the vlogs live because I was really bad at vlogging on that trip, but if I did put them live I will link the vlog down below if you want to go check it out. Um, but yeah, I thought I would just show you what I bought. If you guys watched my Harry Potter haul from when I went to Florida the last time, um, I actually got a Dobby because I love Dobby, um, but it was like a little soft one that just stands up. So when I saw this one um, at the studio tour, I've still got the price on him. He was £25. I'm not sure how much Crookshanks was because the label is off it. Um, but I saw this little Dobby and I really wanted him because he's like posable, so I can actually sit him down, whereas my other Dobby is... Um, it's just like a big, it's almost kind of rubbery, um, whereas this one's like hard and, you know, movable and poseable. So I got another Dobby for my Dobby collection, which is growing at an alarmingly rapid rate. I got this t-shirt, so this is actually a Fantastic Beasts t-shirt. Well, it's not a t-shirt, it's like a baseball shirt. Um, and it's this design with Niffler on it, so I just thought that was super, super cute. I love the Niffler, obviously, from Fantastic Beasts. I mean, you were meant to love the Niffler. That was like created for a merchandising purpose. Just super, super cute. Um, so I did get the Niffler top and that was £27.95. And then I also got another Fantastic Beasts t-shirt. This was before, this is how old this haul is and how overdue it is. Fantastic Beasts was the only one that was out. This was pre um, Crimes of Grindelwald coming out. Um, so it's this t-shirt and this one was £23.95. I love the colour of this and then it's just got uh, the Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them logo there or design there. So I thought that was really, really pretty. I have eaten it but I did get some Honey Dukes Caramel and Sea Salt Fudge which was very, very lovely and I can't see a price on it so I don't know how much I paid for it but yeah, I really like it and I've kept the packaging to show you guys but I also kind of just want to keep the packaging because I like it, but I don't know what I would do with it, but kind of tempted to keep it anyway. Other edible merchandise that I got, peppermint toads. Um, I love anything kind of mint, so had to get them when I saw them. Again, there is no price on these, so I don't know how much these were. And then I also got a bar of Honeydukes milk chocolate, so more edible stuff. Anyone who knows me knows I can't resist a notebook, so when I saw this Ravenclaw one, I absolutely had to have it. This was eleven ninety five, dollars um, and you can also get this. It's actually got the Universal sign in the back. So some of it did have like the Studio Tour logo on it, but some of it has the Universal logo on it. So some of it I think is exclusive to the Studio Tour and some of it you can get kind of probably anywhere that there's, you know, merchandise Harry Potter stuff. Obviously I had to get my Ravenclaw notebook. And continuing on with my Ravenclaw pride, I had to get this headband so I've got my room claw scarf um, and gloves I think I'm going to commit and buy robes when I go to Florida in a few weeks which is terrifying um I don't know I've, I've said that in the last few trips and I know they're kind of a silly thing to buy because you know you're not really going to wear them are you like but also I could flounce about the house in my robes could be a thing um so yeah got my my school headband I'll just leave it on for the rest of the video why not? I am a very proud Ravenclaw so I also got this little Ravenclaw pin which was 6 95 so I'll do a close up of that. That one says like Warner Brothers Studio Tour London um, on the top so I think that might be an exclusive one. And then I also picked up this which is a bookmark. This was 5 95 um, and again it's just a little Ravenclaw crest bookmark so I'll do close ups of both of these so you guys can see them better. I did think overall the prices weren't too bad considering what they kind of could be. So yeah, $6.95 for the pen and $5.95 for the bookmark. And then the last thing I got was just a little pencil that says the making of Harry Potter at Warner Brothers Studio Tour London. And again, this doesn't have a price on it, so I don't know how much this was. But that was everything that I picked up at the Studio Tour, so I hope you've enjoyed this. Um, I'm really excited to actually get to use these things now that I've filmed them. So yeah, if you're going soon, like just enjoy it. It's so overwhelming. It's so magical. It's just the most wonderful thing. I really, really want to go back and do Hogwarts in the Snow, like the Christmas themed stuff. So yeah, that's my kind of, my next plan is to go back at sort of Christmassy time of year, which is Valentine's Day today. So it's a bit ironic to be talking about something that's literally 
like at the other end of the year but yeah that's my plan so I hope you enjoyed it thank you so much for watching and I will speak to you in my next video bye <laughs>